Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for another uh, video of my favorite decks of cards. And this is going to be my mermaid collection. Uh, these are going to be the cards that I use in the summer. I enjoy uh, using different themed decks for different uh, seasons. And here in the Northern Hemisphere, it happens to be summer. And uh, it's a perfect time to be using these cards so I thought I would share this collection with you. Uh, the first one is going to be the Mermaid Tarot. Okay, and I just received this one yesterday and this is the newest to my collection of mermaid cards and I absolutely love mermaids. The artwork on this deck is amazing. Uh, first of all it comes with a really great book Okay, inside the book, it's going to go through all of the 78 cards where you're going to have a colored picture. It's going to give you a description of the card, the upright, and of course, the reversed meanings. Very, very well-made deck. And I like the fact that there are colored pictures. Like I said, the artwork on this deck absolutely pops. And this is amazing. Okay, look at this one, the Justice. The, the colors are just so vibrant, and I love the fact that this is a uh, borderless deck, so I did not have to trim these. You'll see some of my other decks have been trimmed. Wheel of Fortune, Hermit, Strength, the Chariot, Lovers, the Hierophant, the Emperor, Okay, the Empress, the High Priestess. So you get the feel of, you know, what the artwork is on this deck. It's just truly amazing. And um, the fact that it's borderless makes the pictures pop even more. Gorgeous, gorgeous deck. This is a deck by Lisa Robertson and illustrations by Julie Dillon. Absolutely love this for summertime. And then the next deck is going to be the Oracle of the Mermaids. It comes in a really nice box. Okay, uh, this Mermaid Tarot was an exceptional packaging too. This comes with a uh, nice insert there, and it's a magnetic, okay, closure, which is really nice. And then of course this Oracle of the Mermaids is by Lucy Cavendish. Okay, and let's take a look at what's inside the box. First, we have a really nice guidebook. Okay, very, very well made. Okay, and inside the guidebook, we have an introduction. Okay, there's going to be some card spreads. Then it's going to go through each of the cards all the way to the end of the deck. I believe this is a 45 card deck. 44, 45, yes. And then something about the author, Lucy Cavendish, at the end. So this is an amazing deck. And this deck, I believe I had trimmed. If I'm not mistaken, looks like I've trimmed these. So these pictures are really going to pop. We have Sacrifice. There are those worth making. There are those that will destroy you. Look at the expression on her face. And I love the shades, the dark shades of black and purple. Gorgeous. Water flight. Heaviness lifts. Burdens are cast away. Weightlessness. How amazing. And these cards have numbers at the top too, if you're into numerology. Coral's Wisdom. I mean, this just absolutely stunning mermaids in this deck of cards. Divination. Yamaya. Transparency. Yearning. I mean, they're just amazing. Amazing and incredible. Absolutely incredible. I hope my camera is picking up the beauty of these cards. Endurance. Homeland. So you get the feel of what type 
of deck this is, the energy, seems like a very serious, serious energy where some of the mermaid decks are kind of lighthearted and playful. This one has a very serious energy to it. And you could use these along with uh, your tarot decks, you know, for a spread. Uh, these could be used as maybe a focus card or meditation uh, for the day. Very, very beautiful deck. And then moving on to the next deck. Oops, let me just put that back in the box. We have the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins. And this is a 44 card deck with a guidebook by Doreen Virtue. Okay. And very well made box. Very nice. And inside, oops. The guidebook on the bottom here. There we go. <laughs> and we have a nice little guidebook, glossy finish. Okay, inside the guidebook, you have your table of contents. It's going to give you instructions on how to work with the Magical Mermaids and Dolphin Oracle cards, how to prepare the new deck of cards. And then it's going to go into each of the 45 cards. It's going to be a very small picture very brief description of each of these cards and nice guidebook just enough information and then these cards are amazing well the backs are that of the booklet and the box cover very beautiful moonlight the mermaid here perched among the water here we have some tropical fish down here i believe some beautiful plants. Okay. And these are very gentle, very, very lighthearted, gentle energy. Watch your thoughts. It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. And look at the colorful artwork. And oops, the camera almost fell there. Sorry about that. <laughs> and we have waves of prosperity, new abundance, and exciting opportunities wash over you now. A new dawn and I did not trim these cards okay uh, these are the original cards themselves and uh, if I trimmed them I'd be cutting off some of the words so I left these cards as is new dawn the worst is now behind you and positive new experiences are on the horizon alchemy you're being helped yes Worthiness, how beautiful is that? And I love cards that have the moon on them. Know that you deserve to receive good in all ways. Very gentle cards. These are excellent for a beginner who wants a, an oracle deck uh, that has very lighthearted, gentle energy. Beautiful messages, beautiful artwork, as you can see. Okay, very, very lovely. Not sure if these are available to purchase since Doreen Virtue is no longer involved in uh, Oracle and Tarot, uh, but I believe I purchased these on Amazon. Um, so if you're interested in those, you could always go on there and check and see if they are available. Very, very nice deck. Okay, and then moving right along, we have the next deck, which is Mermaids and Dolphins and Magical Creatures of the Sea by Jillian Kemp. Okay, and this is an interesting box. I like how that comes off the end there. Very well-made box. And inside we have a nice little booklet. Okay. And it's a matte finish. Nice sturdy cover. And inside we're going to have our table of contents. Beautiful color pictures. Okay, it's going to be telling you all about uh, dolphin lore. Okay, how to lay out the cards. Okay, nice card spreads there. And then it's going to go to each and every one of the cards. Okay, so you can have a color picture. A description of what the card is about and it's going to go through let's see there are 50 cards here 48 oh. 
52 cards in this deck. So nice guidebook, just enough information. Okay, let's take a look at the cards. And these cards I have trimmed. Okay, this was the original size of the card. Okay, and they were trimmed down to smaller cards which are easier for me to handle. So here we are with the card number 45. Okay, the black dolphin, and it says, recognize which waves will carry you to your new horizon. These are very playful, gentle cards. Okay. Here we have dolphins. I believe there's a lot of animal cards in here. I'm not sure how many mermaid cards versus dolphin cards, but there's quite a bit of dolphin cards, as you can see. We have a sea monster, we have a whale, pilot whale, the narwhal, the killer whale, the gray whale, the beluga whale, Belik, beluga, the humpback whale. So we have quite a bit of whales, porpoises, all kinds of sea animals. And then here we go, we get to the mermaids. It says the Vatia. The secret of happiness is consciously uniting with the best in you. Interesting. We have a water leaper. It's like a frog to me. Frog with a tail. Interesting. <laughs> Cherub. Charybdis and Scylla. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Sedna, the sea goddess. The hourglass dolphin. Here we go with another mermaid, the Rome mermaid. Faith sees the horizon beyond the waves. How beautiful is that? The Sith mermaid. The Water Nymph, the Undyne, Oceanus, it's a merman. Oh, the little merbaby, look at how sweet that is, the merbaby. The skill of being in harmony increases your effectiveness. So like I was saying, they're very gentle artwork, very playful, very gentle messages. Here we have the Nixie. Another merman, the Triton, Queen Am the Trite, King Poseidon. So there's a mixture in this deck. A lot of mermaids, okay, a lot of uh, aquatic animals, dolphins, whales. Uh, very interesting deck of cards, very unique. And then last but not least, we're going to move on to the final deck, which is the Tarot of Mermaids. Okay, and this is a very, very nice deck as well. Not crazy about the packaging because these boxes tend to get worn very easily and tear if you're not careful. I would prefer a, a better packaging, but, you know, what are you going to do, right? And we have just a very typical guidebook in here. Um, not much. It doesn't show any pictures. It's basically going to be the numbers of the cards, the name of the card, and maybe about two or three uh, sentences of the descriptions. And it's going to be in different languages. And then moving on to the cards. Okay, I also trimmed these. So as you can see, I reduced them in size. They weren't all that big, but pictures for me really pop without the border, so that's why I did it. And the backs are really nice. Cardstock is okay. Uh, Semi-gloss finish, kind of like a matte finish, actually. And then here we are with the cards. Okay, we have the moon. We have the tower. We have this mermaid jumping out of the tower, and one behind her jumping out. The devil. Temperance. Hope the camera's picking up on the detail of these because they are pretty detailed. 
Very beautiful artwork deck. The wheel. The two of pentacles. Three of pentacles. The ace of wands. King of pentacles. Queen of pentacles. Queen of chalices. Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, the Knight of Chalices, Justice. Now, there is some topless nudity in these cards, so some people may feel that they're not appropriate for children, even though, to me, it's a very playful deck since it's a mermaid-themed deck, but as you can see, a lot of them, well, I think all of these mermaids do not have tops on, so... You may be uh, aware of that before you purchase this deck. The Hermit. Seven of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. The Knave of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. Seven of Chalices. Four of Chalices. The Star. How beautiful is that card? That's gorgeous. Two of Chalices. The Lovers. Okay, so we have a, a mermaid and a merman. Six of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Four of Wands. Five of Wands, Seven of Wands. So you get the feel of what the artwork is, what the energy is. Very, very beautiful tarot deck. I love this one too, The Hanged Man. Very, very gorgeous cards. Uh, very, uh, very nice detailing and artwork on them. Uh, as far as the shuffling, very easy for them to shuffle. I really enjoy them. Uh, these may be a little bit of a challenge for a beginner, okay? They're not like the traditional Rider Waite deck, which would be easier to maybe learn, but there's uh, some similarities in these cards that I see. A very, very nice addition to my ever-growing mermaid collection here. I hope you've enjoyed the video of my favorite summer decks, my mermaid collection. If you've enjoyed uh, this review of these decks, please like it and thumb it up and also share it if you'd like and subscribe to my channel because I will be back.